Hey YouTube, this is Dice Strike Duelist here with Multi Monster Deals, and today we are going to bring you guys a case opening of the new 2014 tins. Uh, we have six Ruzano tins and six uh, Tiger King tins over here, and we're gonna go ahead and open up the plastic off camera so the video isn't like an hour long. But yeah, I'll be right back. Alright YouTube, so we're back here. We opened up all the packs. So there are 12 tins in a case and 3 packs per tin. So we're at 36 packs total here. Um, and I went ahead and got 2 promo packs to show you guys what's inside. And in case you guys want to see the covers closer up, here's a Tiger King uh, cover and the Susanna one. They look pretty nice. Uh, the tins are a little bit bigger than usual. I'm pretty sure you've heard people uh, say that before because I actually didn't notice until I held one in real life. So I'm going to move these to the side um, and open up uh the promo packs so yeah guys uh these tins have a lot of good reprints i previously made a video uh discussing it and um i hope you guys are excited to open them as well so here is the susano go ahead and zoom in a little bit there you go susano uh crane and archfiend commander and then for the can't tiger king promo pack that i can't seem to open there we go uh, we have Tiger King. Uh, so these are the new Platinum Rares. They're basically like the Gold Seeker Rares, but they're silver instead. Uh, they look okay. I'm personally not a big fan of this rarity, I'll be honest. But they look uh, pretty cool in real life, I guess. They look kind of fake, to be honest. Like the silver. Uh, the Gorilla and Nightmare Shark. So Europe can actually play this now. Because Nightmare Shark was a... It was Ultra. Yeah, it was Ultra. Um, not in a real set, though, right? So Europe didn't no, have it. Yeah. So cool. Europe can have it now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, those are the promos. I think the promos are kind of outdated, to be honest, but I guess the reprints make out for it. Uh, and then also in every tin, you get this little paper thing. Uh, I just want to show you guys everything that comes in it, so yeah. So let's go ahead and get to the most exciting part, uh, which is the packs. Now, I can't really make a statement on the ratios. Like, we were discussing about it. I really don't know what's, like, harder to pull because I see some people who can pull, like, four 101s from a case. I see some people. I think we pulled two in our first case, right? Um, so it's, it's really random. I honestly don't know. Um, so there's a rare, and then our ultra for this pack is the graveyard, secret, the first monarch, super Gyoku. So that person wasn't really a great pack, to be honest, but you know, we have 35 more. Um, I'm probably not going to go through all the comments and stuff because I don't want the video to be super long for you guys. Um, so go ahead and I'll separate it so we can do a recap at the end of each rarity. I probably won't do a recap of the supers um, because I'm already showing it on camera, but I'll go ahead and do a recap of the ultras and secrets for you guys. Uh, so go ahead. But you guys, uh, let me know what you guys pulled from your tins. Um, definitely, you can expect to pull like all... Oh, here's a Draco sack so you guys can see what that looks like. That's a pretty good pull. Looks pretty nice. Looks like the, the original one. Um, definitely cannot expect to uh, pull all the good cards from one tin, obviously. Like, you would have to buy a few... Um, you know, but obviously some people are luckier than others. I'm not even going to head. I'm just going to sort the supers and rares later. So, Draco Sack, really good pool. I like how, it's kind of weird how they do the rarities the same as they were in the original sets, but they look nice though, like, I mean a secret Draco Sack looks nicer than like a super wood. Oh, I didn't know White Dragon got reprinted in this. That's pretty cool. you has been used in Shadals and stuff. Uh, Sinister Thing, Necro Valley Secret, and Bujini Hair. Mm. So... I've actually never opened a case up on my channel, to be honest, guys, so this is pretty fun. Um, never opened up, like, a case of anything before. Let's see. We got Rank Up Magic. The, not the good one, though, sadly. Uh, go ahead and put these. And then we got a Transmodify is our secret. And Super. So this is what I mean, guys. Like, you can get, like, one good pull. Like, for example, we got the Draco Sack. But then you can get a couple of bad ones, too. Um, I did originally have them separated uh, by tin. But, like, I've just been grabbing, like, random packs now. I just realized, so sorry. But it all comes from the same pile over here of 36 packs. So it's fine. Um, 
Rhino, this is our Ultra, and then we got a Secret Rooster. After we get about halfway through, I'm just going to stop showing the commons. Uh, so it'll give you a chance to see like some of the commons, but there's really not a lot of good notable ones, so it's pointless just to waste time. So um, after we get like a little bit through, um, I'll just stop showing the like the commons at the end after the hollows. But I'll go ahead and show it uh, for a little bit for the you guys who want to see them. Uh, so we got a cardinal. Our ultra from that pack was a Geomix spider, which is pretty horrible, I think. <laughs> I'll be honest. We haven't pulled any of like the really good ultras yet, so if we pull one soon. Uh, that is not a good ultra, the Mermail. Transmodify. They're like good cards, and then there are like decent ones, and then there's just ones that suck. I know a lot of people didn't believe the reprints were true at first because they were all in the same rarities were kind of weird, but it looks like everything was true. Uh, Harpy's Pet. Oh, Bujin Yamato and uh, Draco Sack in the same pack. That's actually pretty cool. That's probably our first, like, notable Ultra. So, Yamato and Draco Sack. So, we got two Draco Sacks so far, and we're pretty early, so. Uh, Ghost Trick Mary. So, that was a pretty good pack. All the Apollos, actually, and uh, even the Rare was pretty decent, too. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Oh. It was the ratio. The ratio thing that oh. we thought it was originally. Oh, okay. This is so off. Yeah, as well as saying, guys, like, the ratios are so ran. Oh, so this is a pretty decent pack, too. So we got a Susano, but it kind of sucks because it was in our promo pack. But we also got a Susano and a Star Eater. Uh, and Gear Gear Gear. <laughs> I didn't even know Star Eater got reprinted, to be honest. Like, it never crossed my mind. So that's pretty cool. So in a couple packs here, I'm just going to stop showing that in comments because these are getting a lot. It would have been cool if I guess they put some of the more expensive commons in here as reprints, but they were trying to sit stick to that set kind of thing. Like uh, from what are the two sets they reprinted cards from? Um, it was Lord oh, the Tachyon yeah. to Legacy of the Valiant. Okay, so yeah, so they can't reprint things like Vanity's Emptiness or something random like that. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast, a Mega Monarch thing, and the continuation of terrible packs. Yeah. So I'm going to just stop showing the comments, guys, um, from here on out. Well, the second half, anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a wolf bark and a cock -a doo 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 I used to think that card was like super cute when it came out. Oh, the black dragon got reprinted too, along with the white dragon. Sick. So I'm gonna say our pool so far aren't terrible. Like the two Draco sacks, your model is pretty good. Star Eater. The Star Eater keep a pretty decent price? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, okay. Uh, Pinpoint Guard. Oh, Sombre. I didn't know that was in here either. I said I would stop doing the comments, but whatever. Uh, Pinpoint Guard, I believe, already got a reprint. I mean... Did it? Did it? Um, but... So. Might have looked. Another bad rank up one, A World of Prophecy.
We have a lot of packs to go. Like a lot of packs to go. Winrose, Kirkion. You know what I'm going to do, guys, to actually make this faster? I'm going to go ahead, uh, and at the end of the pack opening, I'm going to cut it off and organize the hollows that way. So you guys don't have to sit here and wait why I organize the secrets and ultras in two different piles. I'll just organize them at the end. And then I'll go back to the video. Oh, here's an Exciton Knight. Looks pretty nice. That's cool. And Obedience School. Yeah. <laughs> the best. Yeah, so I'll just go ahead and move these to the side and organize them later. It's nice that we pull an Exciton, though. That's pretty cool. I mean, I would hope so. We're opening up a whole cave. Mount Sylvania. The reason why I want to do this all in one video, guys, and just try to make it faster is because I don't like separating into multiple videos, to be honest. I think sometimes people lose interest if they have to click on, like, multiple videos, so I want to try to put it all, all in one. Uh, so here's a Bram and uh, another Necro Valley card. So I'll just go ahead and put it all in one vid. <laughs> oh, another Exciton Knight. That's pretty sick. Nice. Pretty good. Yeah. Master Key Beetle, that's a pretty decent super. So on Secret so far, I've been doing pretty well. Um, go a little bit faster in the comments. Oh, here's a Mermello. Marshall Leave! <laughs> and Transmodify. Oh, it's a Nightmare. You know in Europe, uh, Nightmares are actually pretty expensive. I believe they go up to like 15 euros over there or something like that when they were at their peak. With how it was popular, it was crazy. Oh, another Draco sack. Oh my gosh. Sick. Mm -hmm. So down in the comments below, let me know how you guys think I pulled so far. Hopefully it continues to do well, because so far we've done pretty well. Uh, hopefully we get a couple more notable ultras. Like, I don't think we've gotten a lot of good ultras. Here's a totem bird. Uh, we haven't had one of those yet. And a Chandler. But I'm actually really, like, from a player's point of view, I'm kind of glad that Exciton 101 got reprinted. Because a lot of the more budget decks, like, say, Evil Swarm... Like, to play, like, super competitively, like, I believe that you should be using those cards. Um, like, Exciton 101, just to put yourself at a good position. And we got this pack of guy, Yamato, and uh, the Trees Girl. Are Yamato still at a decent price? I would assume so. I'm yeah. Really One of the better ultras, right? Yeah, probably. Uh, Kajasuki, random Mega Monarch. Yeah, that's I know this video is going to take like a day to upload because it's coming from the camera. So, Gauntlet Launcher and another one of the trees. Oh, Skill Prisoner. Hopefully I'm able to show you guys a 101. Uh, we still have quite a significant amount of packs to go to. Through a significant amount. Another Star Eater and a Quillen. There's like a big stack of commons over here that's about to tip over in like any second now. Oh, Downer Magician. That's pretty good. After this pack, I'll see how many packs we have left. Uh, Hermitry and Shadow Vampire. 
It's so weird seeing the reprints because they look exactly how they were in the regular sets. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have about like nine pack sets. These packs take forever to open because there's so many cards in them. Carmelo, bad rank up card. How come we haven't gotten any of the good rank up magic one? Um, Angel Zero and Seven Swords. Doesn't that one get in here too? Yeah. The one that people use in uh, Burning Abyss? That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Man. Seems like these two always come in the same pack. Crappy cards all come together. Let me know uh, what your guys' favorite reprint of the set was as well. Um, that was a pretty bad bag. I like this song. Another exciting night. <laughs> That's good. Power. Yeah. So guys, um, even though some of the cards got reprinted, I'm pretty sure some of the really high ones will retain pretty good value for a while. So, uh, just because they're in tins doesn't mean that they're super easy to pull. As you're seeing, like we're opening up a whole case and we still haven't cycled through a lot of the some of the good cards, like 101 and stuff. Another pinpoint card. So. It's not like, oh my gosh, I'm going to get a tin and get like a really good secret. Because as you can see, uh, the, the tin packs were actually stacked together in threes. I don't know like what like the number of them were. But like, so as you can see, like there were like a couple where we went like three in a row uh, with like really bad cards. So that shows that some tins can be really bad. But I still think it's a really good deal. Like you can actually pull some pretty good cards in here, you know? Um, I'm just saying, like, don't expect to pull, like, Exciton 101 in, like, the same tin or stuff. Unless you're, like, super lucky. Uh, number C101. Another Mega Monarch. I believe we didn't see these two in this video yet. Unless I didn't see. Uh, we have two more packs. So, let's see. And the hollows just all fell over. Wow. So, we have two more packs. Hopefully, we can pull a 101 in one of these two packs so I can show it to you guys. If not, then I'm sorry. It looks exactly like the other Ultra 101. <laughs> nope, that is not a 101. That is a Hermitry. <sighs> don't worry, guys. If we don't pull Ultra 101, I'll go get one and show it to you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. From like, it looks the exact same one as its original print, but the limited edition or first edition signs at the bottom. Oh man, we didn't pull a 101 in this case opening, but we did get an XYZ Encore and a million pinpoint guards. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and shut off the video for a second and do a quick recap when we get back. Alright guys, so we're back and we're going to start off with recapping all the comments and see how many copies of each we got. So go ahead and get started. <laughs> just kidding guys. Um, we're going to actually just do the ultras and oh. secrets. <laughs> because we are not recapping all the like commons and rares and supers. Uh, go ahead and zoom in back a little bit. So for the effect monsters, we got two Yamato, probably one of the better ultras that we pulled. A little bit more right here. Um, and then two Hermitries. Oh, three Hermitries, sorry. Um... There's these guys. Show you guys how many of each we pulled. Yeah, so our probably the really only good ultra we got was like Yamato for the monsters. Um, XYZ Encore is not bad for a spell. Um, not really that many good traps. Uh, Kajusuchi, Bram, Asley. But yeah, so those are all the ultras we pulled. Uh, it's unfortunate we didn't get a 101, but you know, we pretty much made up for it in the secrets we pulled. So, for the effect monsters, we got this. Uh, a bunch of Mega Monarchs that I don't want, actually. I wish for every Mega Monarch I got, it was a 101 instead. Even though that's not even possible, because these are secrets, but I just wish it was true. <laughs> uh, three Transmodify. 
a bunch of the first monarchs I don't like. Pin infinite pinpoint guards. Uh, Necro Valley's trap. One downer magician. Uh, going into the XYZs now. Two of the trees. Uh, one totem bird. One cardinal. Um, and then we have for the synchros, we pull two star eaters and one angel zero. And then I saved the better XYZs for last. We end up pulling. This is basically the only part in the video people care about. Uh, we pulled three Draco Sack uh, total, and we also pulled three Exciton. I, I think this is very good for secrets to be able to pull three out of three of these. Um, so I'm pretty glad uh, with this ratio. Uh, so, hey, it made up for the lack of 101s we pulled. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you guys want to see what the new 101 looks like, just go back to like the first 101 that got printed, and it looks exactly the same. Basically, <laughs> so, um, except, wait, I lied, the, the first edition sign will be down here now instead of up here. Unless your 101 was unlimited, then it's just not there. So, uh, yeah, guys. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough, so I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the opening. Remember to leave your feedback down below, unless it's, like, super mean, then I don't want to hear it. Um, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, if you would like to stay in touch with me, please check out my social networking websites as well as multi-monster deals for awesome coverage and articles. But anyway guys, I will see you later. Bye.